the doll circle and I have another pull up doll to review with you guys. I'm really really in love with them and I've been trying to find more of them and at Tuesday morning, which if you guys don't know is my big secret spot to find them. <laughs> it's not really a big secret. I, about two years ago um, we went out shopping and I found a ton of J doll pull up dolls. I mean just so much stuff at Tuesday morning and then obviously you know I mean since then I've noticed it's been more and more popular and then I noticed that other people were finding it so I was like oh I thought it was just my store and it ended up being like this really huge big thing and I'm so glad that we can find them there because it's so much more affordable than getting them online. They're $40 so compared to if you were buying them like new online it'd be $100 or more plus shipping. So if you guys have a Tuesday morning, definitely go check them out. <laughs> um, this particular one is, her box is really damaged. Like as you can see, it's like pushed in, like yeah, the plastic's like completely not glued in at all, um, which I don't care because I'm gonna take her out, but she's so gorgeous. <laughs> Um, this particular one is from the Pull Up Masterpiece series. Uh, if you guys are, I haven't read the book, but I am familiar with the book and familiar with the film that had, I believe, Scarlett Johansson in it. Uh, Girl with a Pearl Earring is what she's kind of like designed after. Uh, so the Masterpiece series is again taking that from, she's a popular or an iconic, I guess, character in <laughs> literature. I'm gonna get her out of the box so to share with you guys. Um, but before I do, I'll just show you guys a quick little side-by-side -side of the box here, different sides. Like I said, it's really damaged, so I'm definitely taking her out of the box. Um, and normally with pulp dolls, as I said in other videos, the box kind of goes with or ties in with the doll. So this is golden green. She has a lot of golden green in her dress. So let's get this gorgeous doll out. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I got her out of the box. I'm a little sad, probably because she's just been in the box for a very, very, very long time. And that's my phone dinging, I'm sorry. <laughs> for a very long time. Uh, this particular doll came out in April of 2013. And kind of sad. Here, I'll show you guys what is up with her face. See, all right, I'm gonna try to get the glare. It, it won't pick up, I see it, but the camera may not get it. There's like a mark right here where it's like kind of like a weird glossy line just from the plastic band that was on her forehead has kind of made this shiny weird discoloration thing on her forehead. If you guys know how to remove that or fix that without messing up the actual plastic, let me know. But um, I mean, her she's still gorgeous though, even though she has a mark on her face. She has a really, really, really subtle makeup. Here, I'll close one eye so you guys can see her. Eyeshadow is very much like almost Kind of nude I would say if not very pale and then she has like a grayish um, black eyeliner and then just very light smoking but her eyebrows are so beautiful I like her eyebrows and how they did her eyebrows I think was a really again it just looks like the painting it seems like the painting here is the card that it comes with and it looks almost identical to the painting if you guys look um, girl with the pearl earring up is just almost <laughs> identical to, to the painting Here's the back piece, it's gonna have her head wrap. Now the head wrap has this band that goes open right like this, so you can put the ponytail through it. But I'm gonna take the headband off, or the head wrap I should say off, so you guys can see what it looks like out, and that's without the head piece on. And she has kind of like goldish slash blonde hair with some brown in it, it's a little bit of darker tones, which again, the lighting isn't picking up, it's just making it all look like one shade almost, but it's not, there's a lot of depth to it. And that's one thing I like about pole dolls is that they're not just, I don't know, they're not just very one dimensional. I feel like they are, they have a lot more. So here, let me delicately, I'll cut the rubber bands off because I have extra rubber bands that I buy from the dollar store for my dolls. So. That one popped away, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like flinging, oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Oh, see, like sometimes you just gotta like let your hair down and that's true for dolls and for people because her hair, look at her down. Oh, she's just stunning. Obviously it's got a lot of poof and volume to it. She's been in the box for, oh, it was ah, fabulous. <laughs> been in the box for a very long time. So you can tell this great Florida humidity just went crazy with it. God, all that hair was in the ponytail. Look at the thickness to it. That's something I love about pull-up dolls is the hair is just always so beautiful. And of course she has our iconic pearl earrings right there. With her dress, there's multiple pieces to it. It's gonna have the top here, which has a lot of detail. Um, this one has Velcro in it, but I have seen some pull-up dolls that'll have snaps. 
uh, poofy sleeves, a little white shirt, dark brown, like a chocolate brown uh, cover on top of the skirt, the layers, the ruffles are just like individually sewn and pleated, like just so nice. She has a petticoat underneath. She has white tights underneath that. I'm having trouble putting on her shoes with the white tights, but I will show you guys what the shoes look like. They're brown high-heeled little boots and very traditional to that type of time and style. Yeah, like I said, if you guys are not familiar with the painting, look up the girl with the pearl earring, uh, just because, like I said, it's very, very stunning and beautiful, kind of like the Mona Lisa, where she had like, <laughs> it's a very like simple, no makeup, but still stunning and gorgeous. And this head wrap is really thick. Like, it's very, very interesting how they sewn it. It has the little button on the inside, so when you put it back on, wrap her hair around it, it can, clip around her hair so all of her hair is covered because like I said she has a lot of hair <laughs> and her eyes are this beautiful hair I'll show you I don't know if I showed you that when I gave her a close up her eyes are this really beautiful like it looks dark on there but it's actually like almost like I don't know how to describe it dark blue but light blue at the same time terrible description I know but that's what she has and her lips are a very glossy almost like a cherry in the middle and it ombres out very beautiful doll though again with pulp dolls I've not found one that I was like oh that's an ugly pulp doll like I've never <laughs> you know what I mean there's been somewhere I'm like okay it's a little unique but they're so pretty that the you even though they might be strange are still really really nice dolls and I love their eyes and their faces just look so beautiful and sweet again I'm really sad that it has a mark on it which I know came from just being packaged again I don't know if you guys can see it but it's this weird glossy line right there I tried wiping it I tried getting it wet and coming out it just doesn't come off so if you guys know how to fix it let me know if not she's gonna have a glossy forehead <laughs> it's okay she's a little oily you know what I mean it happens to all of us even her and, uh, and I just love the makeup. It's so pretty. So thanks for watching, you guys. Like I said, check out your uh, Tuesday mornings to see if you guys can find pull-up dolls. I mean, I looked this one up online, and since she did come out in 2013, uh, she's on eBay for like $200 right now if you guys want to get her. Uh, I didn't see too many posted on there, which is kind of sad. Although, it's from the Masterpiece uh, collection or series. Is there other dolls in that series? Because I tried finding it and I could not find it. So I felt bad earlier in the video when I was like saying, I was like, oh, it's from the Masterpiece series. And I was like, wait, I don't think there is any other ones in the series now that I think about it. Because when I tried to find it, I couldn't find it. So comment below. Let me know if you guys know anything about that. Was that like a line that they started and they just kind of like dropped and didn't make any more? I don't know. It's interesting. But I love her, and again, even though she has a little mark on there, it's fine. Oh, and this is her stand, by the way. I didn't share that. I don't really like their stands, so I don't really use them. But it comes with a stand, and it matches her outfit. So thanks for watching, you guys. This beautiful, stunning uh, doll. She's like, I'm free. She let her hair down loose. <laughs> uh, I love her. Thanks for watching, you guys. Well, I'm going to be crazy and talk to the doll and sing Lady Gaga songs. She's going to let her hair down free. I don't know.